guys, it's me Kid Woman and welcome back to my channel once again I'm so glad you can join me for this video I hope you guys will appreciate what you did for me to help my business grow to get the specific solution and I'm, glad, I'm so glad to have survived this COVID-19 pandemic so far so yeah, so last night well, I have been, I have continued watching Red Dwarf for the first many years. It was so splendid. So um, we, I ha we have continued watching it on second part. This is now called In Studio Space No Can Hear You Scream. So this is the same, this is going to be the same narrated by David Tennant. So, I guess you rec already recognise him as a Doctor Who star, which is pretty good. And remember, we had um, remember the looked that watched a, a part of the um, documentary. It's focused on behind the scenes when the, when the interviews were being provided by cast members were Don Craig Childs, Robert Ellen, Chris Barry, then John Jules. Mac McDonald, Norman Rivet, Tony Hawks, Heidi Haywich, and including their co creators, Doug Lyon and Rob Grant, and the costume designer, Howard Burden, and, and producers were Paul Jackson and Ed Boy. They did amazing, amazing roles on Red Dwarf back in 1988. Since it's been broadcasted on on BBC Two, when the first series been hits, television swing, TV swings, and. They have the after the when after when the, sh the first series became celebrated and then became successful British sci-fi comedy, which is pretty good, obviously. And let's now focus on special effects, which is now being focused on. Both um, model units was provided by Peter Wags. Peter Wag. He had done a lot of opportunities when he when he previously did working with Jerry Anderson to start with production of um, Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet was was directed by Jerry Anderson also and. Um, According to, according to model shots was made how the model shots were being made how when um, the parts were changed frankly and especially some changes some changes of some sequence of um, our opening title was being rewritten by um, Howard Goodhall it was it was being produced on Series 3 back in 1989 after the original opening theme was, was it was originally used on Series 1 to 2 so it's being changed for now I guess you have um, already already learnt about about Dave Howling Space Cadets was being produced on BBC Radio 4 series back in 1984. Some of you are quite unaware of that. I think it's quite more interesting to be honest, to be fair with you. And when um, how Red Dwarf's been changed over the 30 years, then um, then somehow when the production Red Dwarf's been moved to Pinewood Studios, 
when it when it came back as a revived series back in 2009, then a vigilance special was called Red Dwarf for Promised Land. Well, this this one's been came out on TV UK TV recently. I guess I have seen about four months ago because I have mentioned it from previous video. And um, the United Kingdom Starburg has been produced in Series 3. It was supposed to be quite mid yet. Well, I think it's quite similar to Blue Midget. But the word Midget has been scrapped. They just prefer Starburg instead. I could get a much better ship. And um, I guess how um, how we realize how much we enjoy watching Red Dwarf so far. So, in my point of view, I like how the actors. I guess I'm quite familiar with. He did amazing, most impressive roles on the, each character. In the bad story, was quite, quite terrific. I like um, the words they use of the word smeghead or gimboid or goit. I like the words sorry, also the word called milado. This is a part of a concept, a part of um, sit British sitcom comedy. I think it's been used to make a fictional swear words which can make it more suitable for younger viewers. Okay guys, okay so it's about really, it's about it now. I hope you all smakers enjoyed this video around the three million years in deep space. Okay, so and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to hit the notification and please do not miss out upcoming content. Also, and also you can look up my social media links to check up if it's behind the scenes. You can look up on. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page, and Pinterest, Snapchat, and TikTok. You can give me extra support. That would be really appreciate. And and keep my also please keep my channel YouTube channel to get a better solution. I've been more specific to keep my business growing accurately. Okay, so I hope you see you soon. So. I'll